I'm done. I have completed the final JavaScript project of top, the Odin project, and I'm over the moon. Super happy. I built an Instagram clone, although kind of more like a hybrid of Instagram and what I just wanted to build, I guess. So I'll be going over that this video, what went well, what didn't go so well, and maybe what I would do better next time. There will be a live version linked in the description below. If you want to go and test it out, let me know if you find any issues. There are still a few little bugs, I would say, but I'm putting it to bed for now. First up, I just want to recap the kind of ideas that I had for this project, what was in scope, what was a nice to have, and also just what I wasn't going to be working on. So what I wanted to achieve, obviously you needed a sign in and sign up functionality, a creating posts with an image, a search functionality so you could search through different posts and obviously likes and comments. The nice to haves were followers and following along with adding multiple images per post and what was not in scope was, you know, videos, messages and notifications, that sort of thing. If you want to know more about what was in and out of scope, then check out this video up in the corner here. So how did it go? Generally, I am very happy with the progress I made and with the kind of end product of it all. I did have to stop myself because I kept adding little things and I was spending a lot of time on it. So I just wanted to kind of put it to bed and move on and start learning some other things. So in terms of the must haves, I think I kind of hit everything I had. You know, I've got this so you can sign in. You can also you know, sign up with an account where you have your email, password, everything like that. I would say that the sign in with email and password isn't brilliant. I didn't do a whole lot with it. So you don't get any sort of email saying, oh, you've signed up, please confirm, such like that. But, you know, generally I've used the login with Google. You know, so it's looking pretty good. The menu is pretty basic because I haven't got a lot going on there. So you can search here. You got all the posts you can search for and you can search for keywords like goals. Yeah. The search is kind of basic. So what it is, is it's a, it splits the description into strings of words, an array of words, and it searches for those words. So if you search for multiple things, it doesn't really work that well. Overall, it does a semi-decent job. And then you can also create a post so we can add in an image. You can add in multiple images. That's what these arrows are for. And let's just say uh, testing and you create a post. I do also have it as a mobile friendly version. So when you get to below 600 pixels width, it goes mobile version. You know, header could be a bit tidied up. You've got the create post and all the icons at the bottom. So the profile, you know, you can update it here. Uh, you click edit profile, you can update your name, username and profile picture. You can also delete account, but I would say this is more geared towards the Google authentication users. The email one would need some more work. And obviously on you can like and add comments to posts as well, which is good. In terms of the nice to have, I didn't get the followers and followers working. But, you know, I got the multiple images per post and also optimized the images so they take up less space on the server, which is brilliant stuff. So what didn't go so well, as I said, I kind of had to stop myself and I'm putting this to bed because I just kept adding some new features and it was taking up a lot of time. There's quite a few things which aren't polished, I would say, like that could be tidied up a little bit more, you know, such as the search functionality. It would be nice to improve on that. Also, there's a few bugs, I would say, where if you first sign in, it redirects you to the profile. It doesn't then let you update the profile without refreshing, which is a bit weird. So that could deal with some work. This was my first major project with Firebase, and it was definitely a very slow learning curve for myself. I kind of struggled with it. I'm a lot better with Firebase now. No expert, but a lot better. And there's a few... There's probably like advanced things that I've not really touched on, such as the functions and such. And I could do more work with authentication as I've touched on. Generally, I'm really happy, but I would still say if I was using a SQL database, this would have been a lot easier for me. Like I much prefer working with relational databases, whereas with the documents and sub collections, I just found it a little bit harder to wrap my head around it all. And I also, had some issues with kind of the number of reads. I do have a set interval running, which checks 
if there's been any new posts created and it will show this button at the top of the screen and you can click that to retrieve new posts. I, think I do read from the database probably a bit too much so I could hit my daily limit. It's a test app so I'm not too concerned about that. What would I do differently next time? I think a lot of my issues came down to lack of planning. You know, I did go through and create a Figma file for the login and the homepage, but then I kind of just went off piste and started adding things myself. You know, what would I like to have and just made my own version, I guess, which is why it's kind of a hybrid between Instagram and what I want. I think if I planned it a lot more, scope creep wouldn't have been so much of an issue as it was. Also probably is due to the fact that I don't use Instagram a lot. I wasn't 100% sure on what features I should really be having and how they work. So it was a kind of a trial and error for me, which if I planned it more, wouldn't have been an issue. I also have a lot of components. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. Personally, I can kind of keep things organized in my head by all the different components, but there's a few duplicate codes. And generally I would say my structure hasn't been very consistent, especially with CSS. You know, I've got a CSS main file, I've got a variables file, and then I've got a file per component or for most of the components, I would say. And halfway through, I started to use CSS modules. So there's some which are normal CSS files, some which are CSS modules, and it's just really inconsistent. It would be a lot better to go back through and make them all CSS modules and also to organize my files a little bit more. And maybe I should have imported Bootstrap. I've created a lot of classes very similar to how Bootstrap is, and it would have just saved me a lot of time and energy if I just imported Bootstrap. There's one thing that I would not do differently, and I shouldn't have stopped it until the project was finished, and that was committing to GitHub every day. I did it as a 30-day challenge. If you want to find out more about it, then click on this video. Otherwise, I hope you all have a good day, and I'll catch you later.